I'm Steven. I'm Chris. From Starcom Movie News and Reviews. Today, we are starting a spoiler review. Warning! Spoiler! Turn back now! Rain it in. Rain it in. Too much? Too much. We are beginning our spoiler review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Turn back now or be forever spoiled. Ready? The Resistance will be born today. The war has just begun. And, and I, I will, will not, not be the last Jedi. Woo! Goddamn! What a great Star Wars, movie. Last Jedi. Here we go. God. Spoiler review. So, everything is fair game here today. So, if so, you clicked on this by accident, or you thought this was like, you know, all non-spoiler, no, spoiler! I, I don't know spoiler. how to make it more clear to you. So, that being said, Chris. Steven. Whew, what a journey. My God. Ha, Yoda's in this movie, folks. And it's not and it's not CGI jumping mm. off of fucking walls, Yoda. No. 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 It's mm, oh, not great, not great. fucking original oh, OG huh. Yoda. Oh, no, yeah. Just, OG. Just yeah, amazing. It brings a tear to your eye, so beautiful. It did. A big turner it is not. Mm. Mm. Apparently, he didn't like the Jedi novels. Yeah, fuck, Wasn't fuck a big fan. Hmm. All right. So? Yeah. Man, this movie. I, I can't say enough how much I enjoyed this movie. Start to finish. I mean, it's it starts out, and it's big battle. I mean, this, this starts off. As soon as The Force Awakens ends, it picks up. Yes. I mean, this is them. They're, they're evacuating the base they're at. Yep. The First Order's coming in there to blow crap up. Uh, they said Kylo Ren's not. got his fresh little scar. Oh, on. yeah. He still had that whatever oh, weird yeah. black duct tape thing yeah. going on. And it was weird. That was some shit. But, yeah. Man. No, it was just action right from the right from the get-go. Yeah. And they said in a dreadnought. That was cool. Yeah, it was cool. That was like... Cool the base, yeah. That was dope. And right off the bat, you we get to see Snoke. Uh, mm-hmm. I actually like, really liked how Snoke looked in this movie. I yeah. thought he looked he looked pretty good. Especially for you know being completely CGI and it looked like he, he was. was. He's the he's the only completely CGI character I think, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure, probably. Oh, other than uh, no, they probably. actually made real ports. Like they actually yeah. made ports. So yeah, was I'm pretty sure Snoke so, was I, the only full CGI. Right off the bat, I mean, it's uh, Kylo Ren coming to Snoke after he had just failed to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, keep Star Killer Base upright and. Bring him the girl, and Damn the girl cool. whooped his ass in the forest. <laughs> and and he definitely rubs and, that shit in. That oh, yeah, Snoke is brutal. Yeah, he pretty much calls a, him a, a failure, guy. and he's disappointment. Oh, yeah. And, oh, man, he's he's brutal with him. Cool. And then, you know, to prove a point, was was Kylo Ren do? Get me my ship. And he goes out, and you see this you see this in the trailer, this whole sequence of events. Him and his, and his Thai silencer, that's what it's called. That thing was badass. That was cool. Like, he's that all was, spinning, yeah. so he's showing you know he's got he's got Anakin Skywalker's pilot ability, his father. Oh yeah, he's got mad skills. His grandfather and his father's flight ability, and you know he gets he gets to that point where he's lining up, and he doesn't hit the button. He's lining up. He doesn't hit the button. But the other two tie fighters. The other two tie fighters do. And you're like, ah! yeah, and, yeah. Completely just blows up the 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 uh, command. Uh, command deck of this uh And you know what? Leia, Leia was like at peace when it happened. Even, she was still like turned but, around, looked at the camera and was like Okay, but besides ah, that, besides so, that one thing that really irritates me about all this Admiral Akbar died. Fucking Akbar! That's a trap. He's yeah. dead. Just just like that. No, there was no like yeah. you know, Leia trying to hold on to him. He was a pretty big character. Yeah. To get rid of. I'm really surprised they let him go like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what? And uh, If that would have... If it would have ended with that... Damn you, Akbar. Big explosion, get sucked out to space, um, and Leia had gone that way... Unless she should have gone that way. That should have been... I, that should have been the I, Carrie yeah, Fisher I end. I've been okay with it. No, no. What did but, she do, Steven? Oh, my God. In one of my least favorite scenes of this movie. I mean, it was cool to see that Leia had force powers. They they hinted that she was sensitive, yeah. but not using. Like she this was this was some strong in the force. Like ability. she had been doing it her whole life. Like she was like yeah. just had shit coming to her. So she, she just pulled herself. It's like in. she creates a force field around her body. 
out in the vacuum of space and then just reaches a hand out and sucks herself back into the ship. And then they open up a door and bring her in. And yeah, before anybody else gets sucked out of the put ship. Put her into her medical bag. When, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that part was not it my was, favorite. It was, yeah, it was, it was an out there scene. It didn't look, it didn't look right. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking with that. But and then you know we go to the island with with Ray and Luke. You know she finds Luke. Well, one one of my favorite. Wait, hold on. I got to bring this up because Poe Dameron was just a linchpin in this movie. Did a great job. Oh yeah. He's that cocky fighter pilot. Yeah. You know. Poe's quickly becoming. Yeah. And this was a great point that your wife brought up that I thought was fucking fantastic was the humor that Poe brought to it. In order to stall them in the beginning, you know, so they can get the bombers over, uh-huh. you know, he's like, he's sitting there pretending like oh, he yeah. can't hear Hux, uh, Hux yeah. talking to him. And you Hux's like, are you there? And he's <laughs> like, no, it's fine. I'll hold. It's fine. I'll yeah. hold. He's like, no, yeah, I, really I have an urgent message for him yeah, from Princess Leia. Yeah, they did a really good job with Hux in this movie, too. He was like that nice little comic relief. Yeah, they did a good job. Hux was, Hux was interesting in this movie. He it was, was pretty good. He was an asshole, but he was also a bitch. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was like a weird mix. I feel like. So yeah, Poe Poe's becoming pretty good. He but was good. Getting back to Luke and Luke and Ray. Mm. So you know, she go this walking up there and the huge end. The huge end to Force Awakens. And here's your lightsaber, Master Skywalker. And he chucks the lightsaber. And he gets up and walks and he just away. Walks off. Like, what the fuck are you like, even doing here? Like, like, uh, okay, yeah, I was waiting two years to see what happened. I'm, I wasn't two years that. for that, and it's so anticlimactic. He's like, and just starts Chucks just it chucking over. it up the hill, like fucking whatever. Yeah, and that then, was something. Uh, and then we get a nice, uh, interesting montage of. Ray following Luke wherever he goes. Oh, Jesus, do we have to bring like it? a like a police music video? <laughs> that was Just, it was real. I'll it was be brutal. watching you. <laughs> it was real creepy. But I think the worst part about the montage was the milking oh, of the pregnant. Yeah, that was weird. Sea cow. That was weird. So or yeah, whatever at, the at, fuck that was. At one point, she's following Luke around, that was and he's got shit. a bottle in his hand. And he walks up to this, like, cow-looking creature on this And when he island. drank it, he did it, like, in the most, yeah. like, Viking-esque. He, like, poured it, and, like, half of it went on Dripping his face. Dripping on and his he beard. Had drool coming off the bottle, and he looks at her and is like, ha Yeah, so... What the fuck was I mean, that? I mean, What in the actual fuck? I guess it's a callback to the blue milk thing, but it's green milk, and... Yeah, I never saw one oh, like that. Oh, no, the blue milk. I don't know about all that. Um... So, a couple other things about the island. You know, the Porgs. Uh, I thought I was going to hate the Porgs. I'll be honest with you. I the Porgs. I thought I was going to hate the Porgs. Yeah. The Porgs actually worked pretty well. They were, there's they were one comedy, scene. Yeah. There's one scene where Chewy oh. has a roasted, a spit-roasted Porg. Porg. <laughs> and he's getting ready to chow down. And these Porgs are looking at him and just going... Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, him all and they sad, fly off. And yeah. they completely ruined his meal. I think he becomes a vegetarian after this. I don't. I, he definitely didn't so, eat any porgs after that. No. He even let them like roost on the ship and shit. After yeah, that. I mean, he, they really just became part of the ship after that. I think he felt bad. Yeah. The, so yeah, the porgs, the porgs are good. The porgs are good in this movie. Let's see what else. Uh, the caretakers. The caretakers were kind of funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Ray has a scene where she's, you know, in La La Land, and she and shoots at Kylo in their oh, in their Force yeah. connection, yeah, and we'll it blows a hole through through her room, and the caretakers are so pissed. You yeah. know, they're just like, and they're cleaning yeah. it out. Nice. She's like, I don't think the caretakers like me very much. No, oh, I wonder don't. why why they could possibly keep destroying that. their stuff. Yeah. They've been keeping yeah, this. Th- they can be keeping this whole little village together for thousands of years. Thousands of years. And this one little girl comes in here and starts blowing holes in everything. Or when she cuts a stone and it falls down the hill and takes out their cart. It's and they just look up just, at her like just working class oh, citizens oh. of this island, and she just comes in there and shits over everything. Pretty bad. <laughs> so pretty bad. It's uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, so let's see what else about this island. So actually, you you started a good segue there. We'll talk about. We'll talk about this force connection <laughs> between Kylo and Rey. Yeah. 
Um, these scenes are probably some of my favorite scenes in the movie, where they're they are literally connecting from light years light apart. Light years apart, yeah. Like you know, hundreds of light years. Yeah, apart. and they're having these interactions, and you can so you can start seeing them build a kind of a connection that will keeps getting stronger throughout the movie, and she still seems to think that there's good in him, and right, right, right. He's right. thinking he's gonna turn her and. And he's going to turn her. Yeah, and, so, I mean, who knows? I mean, this is kind of... Yeah. yeah. They start linking and having connections and yeah. dialogue. And they, uh, that whole part was really great. Yeah. I mean, and then they, they, they start talking about the uh, the incident that happened at Luke's temple. You know, he was training a dozen students. And, and Kylo, Kylo has his yeah. story. And then yeah, Luke has they, his story. And then it's just you kind of find out the whole truth. Yeah. You know? So Luke's story is that... He, Kylo was going to turn on him. He felt this dark presence, presence with him. Yeah. And he went to, he went to go pretty much Confront take care him. of it, end yeah. it. And uh, Kylo attacked him. And then he thought he killed him. And he burned the temple down, killed six, half of the students and took the other half with him. Um, then you get Kylo's story, which is... He's sleeping and he wakes up and sees Luke above Luke him. Luke was with his scared of him, and yeah, and with just hatred in his eyes. And, and then Kylo's making it sound like that's what turned him. That's yeah. what made him. Well, and that and that's what you flip. get with the third part of it. Right, and then it, it really overall is that you know Snoke was manipulating Kylo and was and showing Ray. and was and Luke really and kind of showing Luke that Kylo has some darkness in him. But at that point in time, Kylo wasn't wasn't even thinking about turning to the dark side. No. I mean, he had the feelings. But but he but could have fought he through it. He wasn't there. It wasn't until he saw Luke but coming at, down on at him. At the same time, at the same time, though, Luke was saying that he was going to do it, but then he, he backed off. And then that's when Kylo looked up and saw him holding the lightsaber above him. So they were both kind of... And Luke felt conflicted. He conflicted, felt bad. Yes. He was like, what am I doing? Like, I'm going to yeah. kill this guy. And it's like, maybe I'm but, wrong. Yeah. And then it was too late. Kylo already saw him. Yeah, Kylo, you got this scared... Like we said, he, he looked like a scared kid. He's a scared kid. Looking up at him. And then that that pretty much was the was the match that lit the fire there. Right. So Kylo started turning evil after that. Speaking of Snoke, it's just... It's one of those things where it's like... They gave no fucks about Snoke in this. No, no, not he, really. He's like this mastermind evil genius and, and all this stuff going but, on, and there's no storyline. No, Who the did, fuck is did, Snoke? But did you see him, though? Like he, he, when he used the Force, it was powerful. It was massively powerful, yeah. but he went out like a bitch. Oh, yes, yes. Like a bitch. So, and I was really surprised yeah. because, like I said, I wanted to see. That was one of my favorite things. I, I wanted, was the things we were looking forward to when we talked yeah. about was the storyline with Luke, and then the storyline with Snoke. Yeah. There had to have been more to him, and yeah. they cut it out. Like he was just and uh, literally yeah. cut it out. But, and he, you know, that was it. Before like, that scene, you kind of you get this scene with Ray. Ray thinks mm -hmm. if she goes to Kylo, she can turn him to the good side. Right. So she she turns her she pretty much turns herself into the First Order and to Kylo Ren. And Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren and her have this really good scene on the on the elevator, and it's, it kind of reminds me of Luke and Vader on Endor. Oh yeah, and their Return relationships the really. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff in here that they yeah. pulled from the older movies that's a parallel. And Snoke was comparing Kylo to Vader. Yes. A lot. He used that as kind of like the the carrot, you know, yeah. to lead Kylo. Like, oh, you want to be like your grandfather, you yeah. know? And like that was a really. But big then, part of you that, know, but then you know, he tells him at the beginning with his helmet, take that yeah. ridiculous thing off. Right. And he does, and he's, he tells him, you're never going to be Vader. Right. You're never going to be strong. And that's when he destroys the mask, and that's the last time you see it. Yeah. But in that elevator scene, you know, Ray, you know, tells him that, you know, I know when the moment comes, you're going to know what to do, and you're going to turn to the light. And he goes, no, you're going to turn to the dark. Right. And that's, I've seen your, I've seen your future. And they were both wrong. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you know what? That, that scene between the, them and Snoke... 
and you it know, gets you got you going yeah. like you're thinking the whole time you're like yeah, yeah. kylo's fuck, he said fuck this snoke is dead he's yeah. taking on all these but how he kind of kills I mean, snoke was pretty cool too yeah because snoke cool. sets ray up like she's gonna get killed yeah like he she's gonna he wants right kylo she's pretty much here force hogtied standing like right in front of fucking and kylo he's he's manipulating his own lightsaber but while with his other hand manipulating Luke's old lightsaber turns it right next him. to Snoke and <laughs> turns it on and then just chops him in half. And then that fight between them two and the Praetorian guards. Yeah, that was that was that was, that was good. So you know, awesome. I I was thinking about this on the way home tonight. There was no lightsaber on lightsaber combat Action, in yeah. this movie at yeah. all. I mean, I mean, the Praetorian guards and them fight, and that's probably the... And they used energy weapons, but yeah. it wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't... But that was probably the most intense fighting mm. in the movie, and it was, it was a great fight scene. I mean, there's a fight scene between Kylo and Luke, but there's... But... Yeah, we'll get but to it that. But it wasn't we'll actual we'll lightsaber. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that one. But, but that was, was the closest cool. thing you get to an actual yeah. lightsaber duel. Yeah, and then at the end, at the, at the end when they're... Uh, after, when they finished off the Praetorian guards, you know, now it's time, you know, we're going to square off on each other, Ray and Kylo. Who's going to pick up the mantle? Ray pretty much tells him, don't do this, because Kylo's looking at that throne. Yep. And he's like, this is mine. He I sees now, that empty chair and wants the power. I'm now the supreme leader. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't happen. Ray doesn't follow him. And they I love that struggle, that scene where they're oh, struggling. Yeah, and then Luke's lightsaber yeah. just splits in half. <laughs> blows yeah. up, you know, and then Ray yeah. takes And then Hux, Hux finds Kylo. And, and you can like, see that stinky little son of a bitch was like. Oh, he was about to kill you. Yeah. And then Kylo wakes up and he's like, oh. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, what happened here? Myself. Oh, no, Snoke's dead. Yeah, what? Yeah. He's like, the Supreme Leader's dead. And then Kylo just looks at him. And he force choked oh, him. Yeah, he that was so dope. Like mother. Oh, that was epic. Yeah. That was that was fantastic. Yeah, a lot of great emotional moments in this movie. Yes, just amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, Luke had a lot of really cool, you know, moments where it brought you back to the original, the, yeah. the you know, the original trilogy. Yeah. I thought that was fantastic. Not just Yoda, but with R two. Yes, that scene was great. You know, and Luke's like, nothing can change my mind, and R two's yeah. like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, and then he shows the... It shows Obi-Wan the, here, my only Obi's like, you had to go there, huh? Yeah, that was a yeah, low right, blow. Yeah, all right, blow. Okay, we'll yeah. do it. Why not? So there's just... There's so many great scenes in this movie. Um, you get to the final the final little sequence, the Battle of Crate. Oh, and yeah, they're that just, was awesome. You know, the First Order... Or the... Not the First Order. The Resistance. Resistance. They retreat back to this base. All the while, they're getting little, picked off. Yeah. <laughs> last little holdout. They're surrounded. <clears throat> All hope seems to be lost. And then, and then Luke shows up. Motherfucking Luke. Motherfucking Luke. And he goes out there. They, there's a nice moment between him and Carrie Fisher, which I'm so glad we have. Now that was that, touching. It was really nice. You know, there's, I mean, you know, Carrie Fisher, you know, unfortunately passed away. And they have this great moment. Yeah. And he tells her, tells her, you know, I'm, I'm here to confront Kylo. Yeah. That's that's what's gonna happen. And he walks out there, and he's in front of this line. Of Adat their, uh, yeah, Adat, the gorilla walkers, yep. and then Kylo's ship is right above them, and then they've got this. They said it was it was small Death Star tech. Yeah, it was a, a, a door ram. It was yeah. like a battering ram. Yeah, it was kind of a, it was cool laser weapon. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. And so Luke just walks out there, just by himself, just larger than life, in front of all these things. With a haircut and uh, <laughs> Ro- all of his Ro- hair dye job. Yeah, Rogaine, which kind of, really did a great job for yeah. him. Was, and Kylo looks at him like his butthole just goes yeah. and fuckers up. He can, he can he can make diamonds with that. Yeah, thing. and then he just tells he just tells Hux, fire every weapon we got, and they they unload a barrage of fire on Luke. It just creates like a crater in the ground, pretty yeah. much. You know, and then when the is. dust settles, Luke guess who's standing out. there? Yeah, and he just. And he goes, just <laughs> one time. Oh man, like, it was, that's that's one of my favorite scenes in this movie. That was it's just epic. Luke just standing there after that big old barrage of weapons, and he just looks up at him and just goes, <laughs> "That was amazing." And then Kylo Kylo just goes down there, and they have a little confrontation. And then you and find out that Luke is even more of a badass than that. Yeah, Luke's still back on the island. Force He's pro- force, force projecting, projecting himself, himself from. Light years yeah. across the universe, which yeah. is like an amazing feat. Yeah. 
I don't even I don't even know how. Yeah. But it obviously took its toll on him. Yes, it did. And uh, because God rest his yeah. soul, Luke Skywalker is he now becomes, a part of the greater. He becomes one with the, the force. The greater force. Which, God, I wish they didn't do. But yeah. it. I was expecting more. Yeah, I wanted more from Luke, but. Well, I wanted to see Ray trained up, you know, yeah. and, and but you know, like you said, maybe they'll have him as a force ghost. Yeah, oh, definitely, training. they're definitely gonna have him as a force ghost. But know. you know, I wanted to see more. But you know, it's, it's it's it was good to see him go one with the force. It was great to see Ray's powers start to unfold and her getting really comfortable with herself. Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. It was. That was a great build up in in yeah. the movie. Yeah. yeah, and then you know you have Kylo Ren also tells her, you know, who her about her lineage. Which you think parents, you yeah. think is bullshit? I do think it's bullshit, and um, yeah, I got my own theory. With that, that was a, that was kind of a blow for me was hearing that because it was but like your parents it, were just. It, it not only could it be bullshit, it could be accurate because he pretty much tells her, you know, your your parents were nobodies. They were they were drunks. They were they sold right. you for drink and and they're buried yeah. on you know. Oh, they're buried on Jakku. Yeah, I mean, it still could be accurate with my theory. My theory after watching this movie. Is that she is still the granddaughter of Obi Wan Kenobi, and her parents could still be nobody, and her grandfather still be Obi Wan Kenobi. What do you think? I do, I do. Her grandfather could be Obi Wan. Grandfather. So her mom or dad were Obi Wan Kenobi's kids. Yeah, that could be. That's my theory. I don't know. That's my theory. We'll see. How, we'll see how it happens. I think it's. I think it's actually more interesting for her to come from nothing, because I mean, it happened all the time. The no, Skywalker. The Skywalker lineage came from nothing. Yeah, but it's not nothing. That that spanned three trilogies. Sky, oh, I know, but I'm saying game. the OG, the original Vader, the original Skywalker. His his parents were nothing. Star Wars is a Skywalker story. I know, but I'm saying Ray right doesn't now, have to come from something to be something. Right now, the only one living that has any Skywalker blood is Leia. No. In the movies. Well, in the movies, technically, but, you know, Carrie Fisher's no longer with us, so how are they going to deal with that? Because she's still alive much, at the end of this movie How much well. footage do they have shot for nothing? Zero. So what are they going to do? I don't know. But Leia does make it out of this movie alive, mm. so it could be interesting. I feel like that was kind of a screw-up. Well, I mean, everything was already shot. Okay, it was already shot, but I mean, it doesn't make... Everything was shot. Uh, I feel like that's going to be a hard thing to, to cover up in yeah. the next one. Unless they got somebody that looks a lot like her, or they're yeah. using CGI. Actually, you know, if you look at... Um, uh, this was a this was a rumor going back, they were talking about uh, Stevie Nicks, the singer from Fleetwood Mac. If you look at her, that could work. she looks... A, I don't know how With her... a little CGI? I don't know how her acting ability is, but... You know, she looks very similar. Maybe, maybe they'll maybe they'll turn it into a into a singing movie, huh? <laughs> a musical, a couple of musical. No, no, it's coming now. So, yeah, like I said, I, I give my like we said in our non spoiler review, I give this movie a nine point three, nine point five for me. Yeah, nine point five for Solid. you. I, I, I what about really Finn? You said Finn. The whole thing with Finn was kind of like your least favorite. It was pretty anticlimactic. Phasma too. Phasma. They Phasma just, went out. That was like they miss they there? misused Phasma again. I mean, she wasn't as so, formidable as you would no, think. She wasn't. Know? I mean, just, her their fight her fight with Finn was okay for the what 10, 15 seconds that it lasted, and then Finn Finn beats her. And then you see her humanity, which yeah. is just like. You know, just her eye poking through her, you know, mask that he beat off of her pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> beat her off. Shut You're up. such a child. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. so that was pretty anticlimactic. And then this girl, Rose, falls yeah. in love with Finn. Yeah, a little love interest for Finn. But he didn't seem interested back, though. Well, he you seemed more he's... surprised by the whole thing. Yeah, I think this whole life he's been, he's been in a camp full of dudes, stormtroopers. So he's gay? Is that... Well, I don't know. That was a rumor going around with him and him and Poe. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> it's out there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so Some fan fiction going. On. <laughs> hey, I could see it happening in this strong day and age. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Go see this movie, please. Um, go see. I'm, it. I'm hoping to see it again. I think it is a movie that you need to see twice. There's a lot of stuff in there. We need. There's to see a lot it, of man. stuff. Oh. The Knights of Ren. We didn't see anything about the Knights of Ren in this movie. No. 
So I'm hoping to see that in the next movie. Maybe, you know, Kylo. There was a lot of stuff friend. I wanted to see in this one that I just... Yeah. Like I said, the storyline was Snoke. Where did he come from? What What's... Where's the plot with him? For how powerful Snoke he was, was in this movie? He was just a throwaway. In yeah, this. they made him a... Uh, a throwaway. A throwaway character. Just a throwaway character. Yeah. yeah. He was so formidable. And, yeah. you know, this long distance figure that you see, you know, in Force Awakens. Yeah. He was so powerful. And you see all this power in this movie. And then yeah. This. But they had, they had a nice moment in here where uh, where Luke gives Leia the, um, the mm-hmm. dice. Oh, right. Yeah. And that those dice were actually in the original movies. Hanging up like a... You know, like a taxi cab driver would have some dice hanging from their... Uh, it was just like, yeah, like, you know, know, if you have stuff hanging from your rearview mirror kind of thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so those those were actually from the original trilogy. They were in there. They were in there. So. I don't remember seeing that. I, I didn't either. We, uh, but they weren't They weren't a huge Hawaii, plot. Looked it up. They weren't a huge plot piece to the movies, yeah. so I mean... But they are now. So, hey, you two. There you go. Wives. What'd you think? What? What'd you guys think? I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the dice was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think, Justin? It was amazing. Best Star Wars movie so far for me. Yeah? How many have you stayed awake for? <laughs> <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> One and a half. Or or not even two. a half. No, I've seen She two got and through half. the beginning scroll of the second one and then went to sleep. So. Yeah. No, I thought it was really good and I you can tell that JJ Abrams was a part of it with how funny it was. Just like I don't think J.J. Abrams was that played that big of a part. In this. I don't think he did. But he was. Like, it was a lot of this was Ryan Johnson. I think me? Ryan Johnson yes. did a great. Ryan Johnson job. is a great director that did a great job in this movie, and I'm looking forward to whatever they give him in the new trilogy. I, I'm looking forward to a higher rating. I am super surprised. Are you guys surprised by that rating? I was. I I mean I'm not like you guys are naming off ships and characters and animals when you know the names and. I love Star Wars. I love watching it, but I don't know all the nitty gritty like you two do. But um, I was expecting it to have a better score with how good I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like we said, the uh, the critic the critic score of this movie is very good. It's ninety three percent. It's very high. Yeah. It was a ninety six at one point though. Yeah, it's at ninety three now. Well, ninety six was when it very first came out. Right. Right. More so. critics. Yeah, now more and more critics have seen it. More critics have written reviews. Um, and I, feel like, I, I, I actually feel like... I wrote us a review for uh, Rotten Tomatoes to increase the audience score. Trying to. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did. Good. I signed us up for it. All right. Well, so. Oh, and what about and what about um, how freaking Luke found out about Han being gone? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was sad. that was that was pretty heartbreaking. There was a, there was some heartbreaking scenes in this, and that was definitely scenes. one of them. You know, yeah. she's like, "Oh, we got to get back to the. Let's get back to the Falcon, and we'll get out of here." And he's like, "The Falcon? Where's Han?" Yeah, and exactly. you're just what like, "Son of a bitch, Han? he doesn't Where's know." Han? Oh my god! Yeah, he had no idea. Yeah, because I mean, you so. find out in this movie that Luke has completely shut himself off from the Force. Yeah, so he doesn't know what's so, going like, on. So, like when when Han he's... died, when Leia felt yeah. it in the Force Awakens, Luke didn't feel it. He completely yeah. shut himself down. So he's had no knowledge of what's been going on at all, oh. at all. Yeah. So his, that's why it was so weird for him when he saw Ray show up. He's like, well, okay, I'm going to go this way now. Yeah. Like, he just didn't care. Why know? are you here? Like, yeah. Yeah. So, it's just, yeah. But so, a great movie overall. Yes. I think you guys should go out and see it. Where Where it. does this, so we've had, how many Star Wars movies we've had now? We've had 10. 10 three Total. Act. Ten three theatrical Rand movies, including that mm. horrible animated Clone Wars movie, which did get a theatrical run. Where would that uh, would be eleven then, right? No, no, that one doesn't really count. This is oh, eight. This is eight plus Rogue One Rogue would be one. nine, and then the right. animated right. Clone Wars movie would be ten. But so are they? They're, they're not. They're not counting Rogue One as an option. They are, but I'm, I'm saying oh, as oh, Star Wars movies. Canon. Where would you? Where would you rank the Last Jedi in your top ten? Oh man, that's. I would say it's. Does it's it, gotta does, be. Does it crack your top five? Oh, definitely. It does. It definitely okay. cracked my top five. Okay. It's and that's why, like I said, that's why I'm so confused as as to why it got such a poor 
rated. Like, yes, because I actually I like, rated, I like this like, movie more than Force Awakens. And even the couple of blemishes that you know that we didn't like yeah. wasn't enough to give it such a low stature. On I, I think I think this movie kept my attention way more than The Force Awakens. I think it has more yeah. rewatchability than The Force Awakens. Oh, for sure. Oh, we need to I rewatch can, it. I can rewatch yeah. this easily. Oh, definitely. I, I was watching The Force Awakens the other day just to kind of prepare for this, and there was there was a couple scenes I got to in The Force Awakens when I was just like, fast forward, fast forward. Oh, that's a cool scene with Kylo Ren. Oh, it's a cool scene with Han Solo. Fast forward. This movie, I mean, besides like maybe a couple scenes that I didn't like. A couple offshoots. Yeah, yeah, a couple just side missions I didn't like. I I enjoyed every part of this movie. I thought it was fantastic. What yeah. I liked about it was it, it was so enjoyable that it makes you want to rewatch the originals, like yeah. like the dice Get part, because we all didn't know. We're like, oh, we're. I mean, Jessica, she didn't know what the, you know, relevance was, and I right. said, oh, well, those were Han's dice. But Steven and I didn't know they were in I didn't even know they the, were original in the original movies. Yeah. Which, and I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars yeah. fan, and I, I didn't recognize the dice. So, so, like, just after watching this movie, we're like, well, where did these dice come from? What do they mean? Where did they, you know? And then apparently they were such a huge part of it when they did their Vanity Fair shoot, they actually put those dice on the cover of that magazine. Hmm. And that was back in 2014. Yeah, I, th- I think it's a good setup for the solo movie coming out in May. For sure. Yeah, because yeah, they, they talk about how. He used the dice in a Sabat game to win the, to Millennium, win the Falcon. Millennium Falcon. So, yeah, so I, that's think, what the dice oh, I think that's there's a lot of the set up in this from. movie. Yeah. So the dice is going to set up the solo movie. Also, Ray, uh, Ray, Ray being the granddaughter of Obi Wan Kenobi is going to set up for the Obi Wan Kenobi movie. I don't think out. that's no. it. I don't. I don't that's feel it. Like I it. hope so. I we'll think see. it would be more interesting for her to come from nothing because that's that's honestly. That's where the original Star, the, the, the original Skywalker lineage came from was nothing. Yeah. It was nothing. They were slaves. I mean, they, they came from nothing. So it makes more sense for Rey, the new, the new protagonist, what, to come from yeah, but nothing. When, when you look at when you look back at those trilogies, Luke Skywalker, you've got Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan Kenobi, Rey. Yeah. Oh, you're saying like she's a single name. Rey. What? Even even Luke was originally a nobody until he found out what his lineage was. You can't have a lineage. I mean, your last How do you name. Know she's not Ray Solo. Ray, no, Ray no. Kenobi. Because Ray the, Kenobi. neither of her parents knew who the fuck she was. That doesn't make any sense to me. No, my whole thought is like if they if they were twins, Ben and and Ray, and they separated them to keep her protected, like they did with Leia. Yeah, but they would have to then mind wipe. Leia and Han. That's what I'm saying, like, because they had, they, they exactly. don't even, they don't why, even Why is that not it? possible? Or, it is possible. Or, or they, she knows she has a daughter out there somewhere, doesn't know where, because for her protection, didn't even want to know where she was, and then this random person, she doesn't have to know. Yeah, but. So you're thinking they hired somebody else to drop her off on Jakku, but, without their knowledge, so they right. had no idea. So, so she's she, like, oh, I come from Jakku, and they're like, oh, no, but there, the there's another, there's another little hitch in that, is that at the time, at the time where, Kylo or Ben, and then you're saying Ray would be born. They were living in a time of unprecedented peace. True. Like there, there would be no reason to hide her children. Right. Except oh, right, because they had just defeated the. Oh yeah, no, I guess. at the they time, just at the time the when she's pregnant, like there's a book out, um, uh, Bloodlines, that it came out, and it t- it's during while she's pregnant, and they talk about maybe just the first order is just starting out. And she's already pregnant, like five, six months into her pregnancy, and they, she they talks about how she can feel her son inside of her. Mm-hmm. Nothing and else. It doesn't mention doesn't daughter. mention anything about anything else. But I mean, but they that's don't have canon, to go... but it doesn't mean that they went off of that. Yeah, exactly. No, I they mean, don't have to they're, go they're, they're sticking to these books like they are canon. So unless you know, Kylo is supposed to be a little older than her, so she could be a second child. Maybe that Han didn't know he even had because there was a time where oh, Han they was were gone. Separated. Yeah. So Leia might know. And she's just keeping it quiet, and then Han would never know because yeah, he was think gone. Think about the Force Awakens, like the Han, <coughs> the Han Ray connection. Yeah. Like there was some kind of connection. Yeah. Some kind of. She she knew about the Falcon. She knew like she was very mechanically and, inclined. Exactly, her flight mm-hmm. experience. But, so I think she's. I think. So I mean so that long. that is a that that could be. A but all that can be explained by her use of the Force though as well. Yes. Her force is pretty It doesn't strong. mean that it's it's genetically bred into her. It could just be her use of the force because the force allows people to have 
yeah. really good skills in a lot of different aspects. That's true. I mean, he, uh, from the strongest Jedi ever. I mean, you don't know who, oh, you know, Obi Wan Kenobi doesn't have um, powerful parents or lineage that he came from that you know true. of. Yoda, I mean, no one even knows what his species is. Well, no, that's um, what I'm saying though, is that it so. makes sense. It, it runs in line with everything that we've seen for Rey to come from nothing. So I, it I makes kind of more like, sense. I do I, like your theory you about, her, about her coming from nothing, and like yeah. at the end of the movie. With the kid, with his rebellion ring. He was from nothing. He was from nothing, and he looked and like... He, and you saw the broom go into his hand. He didn't kick he, it, and he didn't... No, he just, whoop, exactly. It went into his hand. So I do think it could possibly be like a from nothing story, yeah. and maybe that's, that's, what that, I'm that's them kind of playing off that, like, the rebellion, the force is so strong, the rebellion is going, it has just begun, all right. these from nothing people are starting to, are come starting to be force yeah. sensitive and now the rebellion is going to grow because of all these people that are going to start joining sure. in part of it well, no, because it, was, it starts from nothing that's basically what the whole movie was well, about and you're gonna was you're, everything starting from you're that. gonna get stories now from the survivors of the resistance from the battle of crate right because now they've all seen how powerful ray is Right, and she is now this. All those rocks she just she, lifted up. She's in the now air. like you know what I mean. She's like, Whoa. what's uh, what what's that? Lifting what's rocks. What's that uh, that that female character from World War Two? You know, she you see her, she's flexing her bicep. Rosie the Riveter. Rosie the Riveter. Now she becomes kind of that kind of symbol for the resistance because she's for sure super powerful, and now right. everyone's seeing her like, oh my Which, god. You know, and her that's legend, what I mean. Her, her like, coming her, from nothing makes it seem like yeah, so her, much more because but, anybody can be yeah something. I still think you need that. You need that that last name. You know, she, you just Ray. She, all she is right now is Ray. But you need that last name. Something, anything. I mean, if she comes from nothing, still figure out what it is and give her a last name, or have her take up the Skywalker name. Who says she couldn't take up the Skywalker name? Right. But you know, like you said, with the whole just, having a strong last name is if in the next movie with mm-hmm. Carrie Fisher being gone, it's important to have Ray be a strong character mm-hmm. to kind of take over that whole matriarch. Yeah, character. exactly, exactly. I think she she needs something there, you know. Ray, Solo, she's the adopted daughter of General Leia, you know. Say something like that. Even if adopted even if she, daughter. Yeah, she's the she's the adopted daughter of so General Solo. So what do you think? Solo. What do you think they're gonna do with Leia? I don't know. Um, they're probably gonna say she passed away peacefully in her sleep. But it'll, yeah, it's it'll, gotta be something because there's no way they they can't do anything else. But they can't have a that? whole you, movie with her. Did you just say that in an opening crawl? Maybe. Or There's resistance in turmoil when, as ge- the last general staple Leia of the dies, yeah, that's Republic, what I mean. General Leia passes dude, away. You know what? And, and that's how they broke you into what was going on in this one. It's going to be hard. So did oh, they man. say if they added anything after Carrie mm-hmm. Fisher passed mm-hmm. away? Because I'm wondering if no. with her being... Nothing. Now we know she's able to use the Force... Could they say that she becomes one with the Force, and that's how they? I mean, I could go? see them maybe, maybe her becoming. I don't know. Maybe she becomes ill or something, and they computer generate something that kind of looks like her. And then the opening scene is her just coming at peace and. Or what if she's force. like in a coma-like state and she's able? But to she was up there walking herself. around. I, it's gonna be hard, and I, I don't, I don't envy J.J. Abrams for having. Yeah, come I feel like it. nine is gonna be really hard. Yeah, JJ, but JJ, they have, they yeah. have the directorial, yeah. you know, prowess. I think they have the people there too. If anybody can make it work, it's gonna be Abrams. It is. It really is. Um, I have a lot of faith in J.J. Abrams. I'm hope he can finish this story out well. Um, Ryan Johnson did a heck of a job with this one, though. I he give, did? I give all credit to Ryan Johnson. This oh, he made definitely. one hell of a movie. He did. A fantastic, amazing yeah. job, but like I said, there's a lot of work to do in nine. Yeah, there's that's, a lot. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Well, we're uh, we're reaching 40 minutes on this video. Well, it was a long if time. You're time. still yeah. here. Thank you. Thank you, you. <laughs> yeah, thank you <laughs> thank for, being you for here still being here and hanging with um, us. We like appreciate I said, this, that. This we want to take our time talking about this because this is these are movies that Chris and I and we're Jessica passionate and about. Erica, uh, we all love these movies, and right, right. Uh, I was very excited to see this movie. I was getting goosebumps on the way to the theater today. Uh, we had our, our little video. I cried when to... Leia first came yeah. up on screen. I immediately yeah. was like tearing up. So yeah, was yeah. There's a, there's a lot of emotional parts in this. You know, oh, yeah. Luke asking where Han was, seeing Leia. Um, 
And there's a lot we haven't Yoda. even talked about yet. I mean, there's things. We there's so there's, much there's more in there, stuff. but you know there's what? There's two you guys go watch movie. it. You see it. I mean, you let ho- us hopefully, know. Hopefully, hopefully, if you're watching this video, you've seen the movie. Hopefully. And you're you're as much of a Star Wars fan as we are, and you just wanted to watch our reaction to it. Let us know your thoughts um, about things. Yeah. If we're wrong about some things, if you have your own ideas, yeah. let us know. We want to hear from you guys. Absolutely. We want to know what's going on. We love a little bit of witty banter. We we want to we, we want to hear what's going on with our fans out there. What's what's going on with you guys? So, let us know. Steven? I think that's a wrap, man. I think we're good. So I feel satisfied. These two just messing Yoke up our over here. <laughs> this is just, the last time the wives get involved. Know, right? Just, just hey, I, two. I contributed just, some good questions over you did. here. Jessica's in napping. <laughs> um, so, oh, hey, thank you for watching this video. Thank you, guys. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Uh, like, subscribe. Like, that, like the page. Subscribe. Share. share. Uh, join our Facebook group on there. I put up some polls on there and check us out on YouTube. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Yes. YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe. Hit subscribe. that notification button so you actually get a ping when it comes up. Ping. Yeah, you can see our beautiful faces. We don't have the mustaches anymore. Don't be scared. Yeah, I got okay. uh, I got the landing strip now, so we're good. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. You look like a that's more like a catcher's mitt. Yeah, you look like an out of work. What did Stephen call me? An out of work jazz out-of-work musician. Jazz <laughs> bass player. Bass player? Bass player. I was thinking more of like a tenor sax, but you know, that's fine. Yeah. That's cool. Maybe a cymbal. Anyways. Um, yeah, we don't, we, we don't have the mustaches anymore. He's got a creepy goatee going on. But I'm, again, allowed to drive past schools on my way home. So that's nice. I don't take the long way home anymore. Yeah. So, hey, it's, it's as better always. It's parents don't know, right? I'm Steven. I'm Chris. Stay beautiful. Take care.